Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho of Vancouver. This is the third of this series of rejuvenation. This movie is about the Stanford University Cell Rejuvenation Medical Picture and its significance. Since 1960, scientists have regarded the hay flick limit as the lifespan of cells. The average number of possible cell division is about 50 to 70, because each division shortens the DNA telomeres of the cell, and the cell dies when the telomeres become too short for cell replication. In January 2015, a breakthrough of this limit was announced by a Stanford University School of Medicine scientist, Helen Bloor, who has discovered a new way to quickly and effectively improve the length of the human cell telomeres, rejuvenating the cell, which will not die. This means that diseases caused by cell aging, such as heart diseases caused by blood vessel aging, and osteoporosis caused by the aging of osteoblasts, can be cured. Right now, the rejuvenation procedure is only successful at the cellular level in the laboratory. However, its application in human will not be too far off because the medical cost of human health care for the elderly will be astronomical if you just look at the statistics. Any medical breakthrough like the aforementioned one by Stanford University is like killing two birds with one stone. It cuts medical expenditure and adds many taxable working years to the people. Private pharmaceutical company and public government health agency will speed up the development of this kind of treatments. When cells do not age, other problems will arise. The new procedure can cure osteoporosis, but healthy bones do not automatically eliminate arthritis and do not improve posture automatically. Our modern lifestyle make people fat. The over Dependence on gadgets distort our posture because we sit too much and stoop too often. Moreover, some medical procedures are irreversible. The treatment of myocardial infarction with angioplasty is one good example. The stench implant used in angioplasty can never be taken out. Continuous servicing of the implant with medication is needed to make it trouble free. Therefore, before the procedure of cell rejuvenation becomes a reality, we must prepare our body by losing weight, improving our posture, and try our best to avoid those irreversible medical treatments. My friend, uh, Dr. Xu Yan Wu, a uh, chiropractor, has shown us a good example of how to avoid an unnecessary angioplasty. He had a 90-second angina due to a coronary arterial spasm not blockage. Two Hong Kong heart specialists recommended angioplasty. Dr. Ng asked a third opinion from an American cardiologist researcher who told him that his coronary arterial spasm could be treated by aspirin instead of angioplasty. Um, after this incident, uh, Dr. Ng wrote a book in Chinese, I am not afraid of cholesterol. In that book, he has clarified to the general readers a lot of misconceptions about cholesterol and heart treatment procedure. Mr. Bill Clinton is not as uh, lucky as my friend, Dr. Ng. In 2004, he had a coronary bypass. However, six years later, he needed two coronary stents into his heart. And after that, he has become very lifestyle conscious. Right now, he's managed by two doctors, Dr. Arnish, who preaches low-fat um, diet, uh, and uh, Dr. Hyman, who teaches uh, people how to manage the blood sugar wisely. Quoting many ancient wise sages, uh, Master Lan Wai Jin told us another possibility of super health and longevity in his book, Tao and longevity, mind-body transformation. He told us that meditation, if practiced correctly, could trigger 
the live treasure deposit called Kundalini in yoga, Zhu Fu in Tibetan Buddhism, and Qi Ji in Taoism. They are all referring to the same thing. However, Master Nen died in 2012 when he was only 94. He had not triggered his live treasure deposit. If he had the kind of cell rejuvenation discovered by Helen Bloch of Stanford University and lived a few more decades, could he achieve the longevity that he preached? It is up to us to continue his experiment. Master Nam left behind many ways to practice meditation correctly. Most of his books have been translated into English. The techniques are all there and it is up to us to practice and to explore and to verify the answer ourselves. We are fortunate that we have the latest help from Helen Ball to live a few more years longer than our parents. In this movie, I'm showing three main points preached by Master Nam. Firstly, a big fat belly is an obstacle to longevity and enlightenment. He told us that in meditation, the spine should be in a healthy configuration. If the spine is not properly trained, the stomach will protrude. I can add that all health experts agree that excessive visceral fat is a health hazard. Secondly, the throat chakra, that is the pharynx and the top of the neck, is full and round in shape, as shown by Master Name himself. I have added the Ding Tu Xuan sign, which means that the head feels so light as if it is hanging in the air. This is one of the two signs in the craniosacral postural reflex I have referred to in the last movie of this series. The two major artery, the vertebral and the carotid artery, are full. By full, master name probably meant unobstructed. Thirdly, the cross leg should be placed so that qi can circulate the lower extremity. Master Nam wrote, when the qi mai flows freely in the cross leg, you feel so comfortable that you do not want to get up. The whole body softens and feels empty, very ethereal and very comfortable. Although I have not reached this day, however, I have proven what yen wei the smartest student of Confucius said, Do ji ti in the state of Do ji ti and Zhou mang. Do ji ti means that you do not feel the existence of the body and the extremity, and Zhou mang means that you are in the state of oblivion. Master Nam told us not to cross leg uh, like the picture shown in the Kundalini picture on the extreme left. He did not say why. My explanation, according to my own experiences, is that if you do it like the Kundalini drawing pictures, you can never put the pelvis in an erect state so that you can balance the spine on an upright pelvis. To achieve this important spinal configuration, the Qi Te Bei sign of the craniosacral postural reflex of Tai Chi is very helpful. Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho. This concludes the movie. And if you like this movie, please click like and please share it with your friend in other media like that Facebook. And it would really motivate me to make more movies like this if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dr. George. Subscription is totally free.